so at Transport, when we were faced with uh, the COVID nineteen crisis, like that's been you know so damaging to the world economy and 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 so and and so many companies and so many lives, um, we set out and we made four priorities. Our first priority was the safety of our staff. So we we. Uh, we're very fortunate that our business model was conducive to working from home and we were able to get protective equipment in, into our offices very quickly and we, we took the safety of our staff uh, was, our, was our number one priority. Our number two priority was continuing to service our customers. Our, our customers were still going to have needs. Uh, they were going to need uh, their global communication programs could not fall down. As a matter of fact, some of them became even more important that they were able to communicate globally uh, when there was a crisis happening. So, uh, so our second priority was making sure that we, we were able to continue to service our clients. Our third priority was financial stability and making sure that we continued to, you know, do our billing and you know do do all the things that that allowed us to continue to operate profitably. Uh, because if a partner isn't financially stable, then they're not a stable partner. So our third priority was financial stability for the corporation, and we, uh, we achieved that as well. And then our fourth priority was not abandoning our civic duties. Um, it's been said by somebody much more wise than I am that uh, principles only mean something if you stick by them when it's inconvenient to do so. Uh, and we, uh, you know, during, even during the toughest times and the most financial uh, uncertain times, we still uh, made contributions to the common good. One that comes to mind is we offered to do $125,000 of free translation for New York City to help the, the city get out health information to, to all the, the culture diverse communities in New York. So those were our four priorities uh, for uncertain times. We stayed very focused on them. We let the entire staff know and we communicated that those were our four priorities. And I feel like that um, uh, both helped you know, help with morale, let everyone know that there was a plan. And, uh, and thankfully, and you know, knock on wood, because we're, uh, uh, you know, obviously the crisis is ongoing, but we are, um, we are maintaining uh, very well and we are continuing to execute on those four priorities.